Hello friends, in this session we will be talking about the sources of Indian constitution. You see, first of all we have to understand uh, uh, that Indian constitution is the lengthiest constitution and the most detailed constitution in the world. And we have compiled, we have uh, written our constitution, framed our constitution very dynamically. So in this lesson we will be focusing the important sources of Indian constitution. Because in exam, most of the times, good number of times they ask you the source of fundamental rights, the source of, you can say, DPSP, Directed Principle State Policy. They may ask you the source of uh, for fundamental duties, amendment provision. So you have to remember the different sources because we borrowed fundamental rights from USA, fundamental duties from, you can say, Russia, concurrent list from uh, Australia. So all these things are there. Parliamentary form of government from uh, UK. Right. So let's discuss the important sources of Indian constitution. First of all, uh, let me clear one important point here that Government of India Act 1935 played a vital role in shaping the Indian constitution and most of the sections of this Government of India Act now they are called articles. Anyway, you just uh, see and we will definitely learn the important sources for exam point of view. First thing is that you just see Government of India Act 1935 right in which we have borrowed federal scheme Office of Governor, Judiciary. So do not confuse with Supreme Court or High Court, I will explain. Public Service Commission and Emergency Provision, all these things. But Emergency Provision later will find uh, something new. So don't worry, just remember very important thing. Under Government of India Act 1935, uh, federal scheme, but federal scheme later will discuss that you will borrow from Canada. Anyway, so Office of Governor, Many times act, so you can remember this. Public Service Commission, this is very, very important. So they may ask you all sorts of things. Secondly, from British constitution, because India was colonized by British, so parliamentary government, rule of law, rule of law, A B Dicey, you know, rule of law, A B Dicey, A B Dicey, British jurist gave the concept rule of law. So they may ask you this rule of law. Right? Legislative procedure, single citizenship. We don't have dual citizenship, single citizenship they may ask you. Right? And uh, cabinet system, very simple, you can remember. And then we'll talk about US constitution. The most important point is from US constitution, we borrowed the fundamental rights. Very, very important. So fundamental rights and independence of judiciary. So you just see, this is here you will find in Government of India Act 1935 judiciary, here also judiciary. But here it's talking about independence of judiciary and judicial review. So this is very, very important. Fundamental rights, independence of judiciary and uh, judicial review. We have borrowed from US Constitution. And even also impeachment of president, right? Impeachment of president. So I hope you got this point, impeachment of president. And removal of Supreme Court and High Court judges and also post of vice president. All these things we borrowed from US constitution. Now we'll talk about Irish constitution, constitution of Ireland, directive principles of state policy, DPSP, nomination, uh, you can say nomination of members to Rajya Sabha and method of election of president. Important thing is that you have to remember DPSP. They may not ask these things, but this is very, very important. DPSP. Then the Canadian Constitution Federation, I have already explained. You just see federal scheme and federation means uh, uh, there is little difference. So federation with the strong center, strong center, vesting residual powers are center, ah, right? So we are having quasi-federal nation, 
so federal provision we derived from canadian constitution now we'll talk about australian constitution in unifies in find a concurrent list freedom of trade commerce all these things right and joint sitting please remember the joint sitting this well a concept is very very important joint sitting they may ask you joint sitting we borrowed from australian constitution then weimar constitution germany suspension of fundamental rights during emergency during emergency under article 352 356 and 360 we should remember that certain fundamental rights are suspended so weimar constitution that's from germany we borrowed this suspension of fundamental rights and next is ussr russian constitution we borrowed fundamental duties this is very very important fundamental duties so remember this fundamental duties and from germany remember this suspension of fundamental rights during emergency i hope you got this point and uh, wish you happy learning thank you very much